All right, let's talk about some NHL news of the day. I'm sorry you haven't heard it from me in about four or so days. I'm in the middle of moving. I officially move out on July 20th, and so I'll probably be back on the air earliest, uh, July 22nd, latest, early August. Um, hopefully I'll get to that sooner than later. We'll see how the move goes. As always, everything is in chaos and mayhem all around me, but we'll get through it. Uh, I also... Um, You'll be glad to hear, got a actual microphone, a boom microphone. So no more awful sound after this. Yay! Anyways, who cares? Let's talk about um, what happened in the NHL, starting with the Washington Capitals, who signed Jacob Verana to a two-year deal worth $3.350 million AAV. Now, uh, Verana, if you don't know, is a left winger. He's 23 years old. Uh, he's six foot, 197 pounds from the Czech Republic. He was originally drafted by the Washington Capitals, 13th overall in the first round in 2014. Last season, he had a breakout season with the Caps, his third for the most part. He had 24 goals, 47 points, and it was a plus 20. Impressive. Now, in the playoffs this past season, though, in seven games, he had zero points and was a minus one. But... In his uh, in the season that the Capitals won the Cup, um, he had in 73 games he only had 27 points, but in the playoffs in 23 games he had three goals and eight points and was a plus five. Uh, and then 2016-17 he only played uh, he had a long cup of coffee uh, and played 21 games for them, and has been playing you know in the AHL and internationally and so on and so forth. But obviously, they want to see what this kid does. Now, they're walking him right back into uh, restricted free agency with no arbitration rights. So there's there's no fear there. Um, however, the Capitals uh, are going to run into some cap issues at some point. Um, right now, they have just under a million dollars left in cap space for this season. And then they start running into um, some RFAs and UFAs after this coming season. I'm talking starting with Brayton Holby, who will be uh, 30 years old. Moose, don't do that to the carpet. Hey, sorry, it's my cat tearing up the carpet. There'll be no carpet in the new place. <laughs> Little does he know. Yeah. Um, where was I? Yeah, so $6.1 million for one more year. And then he becomes a UFA, Brayton Holby. Will they resign him? I don't know. Uh, Phoenix Colby is signed for three more seasons. Um, they do have uh, some up and comers, though, um, from the minors who will probably be making some noise in the new, near future. I'm talking specifically of uh, Ilya Samsonov. We'll see what he does. So, will they sign, resign Colby or not? I, I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear from you, Washington fans, what you think about that. Uh, they also still have to sign um, Christian Juice uh, this season, the left shot defenseman who's 24 years old. He has arbitration rights. I don't know what money they're going to do that with. Uh, Chandler Stevenson is also 25. He's also an RFA with arbit arbitration rights <clears throat> for this season. Um, but I digress. Getting back to the guys who are um, going to need new contracts after next season, Radko Gudas, the right shot defenseman, who, who he'll be 30 years old. Um, he'll be coming off a $2.345 million contract. Um, and who else do we have here? I know Nicholas Backstrom will be a big one as well. He'll be coming off, he'll be 32 after next season, uh, coming off a $6.7 million deal. He's a UFA as well. Um, yeah, and then they have a, a couple of other RFAs kind of sprinkled in there. So Washington's got to figure some things out. I don't think they're done. They may still have to trade, you know, move some bodies out of there. Uh, next up, we got a trade, ladies and gentlemen, between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Senators of Ottawa. Now, the Blackhawks, Chicago, has dealt forward Artem An Animissa. <laughs> I'll start over. Ar RTM and Nisimov. Wow, see if I just slow down a little bit and don't rattle it off, I, c I can get those hard pronouncers. Uh, so they sent him to the Senators uh, in for forward Zach Smith. Yes. Yeah, so Anis Anisimov, <laughs> the 11-year-old veteran. Now, he spent the last four years with the Blackhawks. He, have, uh, he of course, carries a $4.55 million cap it um, over the next two seasons, according to Cap Friendly. 
and the 31-year-old hit the 20-goal uh, mark in three straight campaigns before scoring um, just 15 in his uh, in 78 games last season with uh, Chicago. Now, Chicago, of course, acquired um, Anisimov uh, from the Columbus Blue Jackets previously as part of the Brendan Sad trade in 2015. Uh, the Russian played three years with the Jackets after being uh, included in the deal that sent Rick Nash uh, to the New York Rangers in 2012. All the bouncing ball. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, st- now, Smith, who's also uh, 31 years old, had spent 11 of his pro seasons all with the Senators, uh, who drafted him 79th overall in 2008. Of course, um, he, contributed tw- he contributed 28 points in 70 games uh, with Ottawa this past season. He also... Also has two years left on his current contract with a cap hit of $3.25 million. So Chicago gets a little over $1 million off its books. Um, the Senators get probably a little bit more offense, obviously, uh, with Anis- Anisimov. Uh, hopefully I didn't butcher that. So, yeah, so a little give and take there. Ottawa also gets another veteran or they just exchange veterans really I mean Anisimov would have probably had to be bumped down to the third line and Chicago didn't want to be playing a third liner um, you know 4.55 million dollars so they get they save about a little over a million to put Zach Smith somewhere down there Um, obviously the first two lines are pretty much well spoken for uh, in Chicago so we'll see where this goes we'll see what kind of team Ottawa is going to put together um, it's going to be very interesting to see what their, their forward line combinations are going to be, especially, you know, with uh, Bodker and Tierney and Connor Brown now from the Maple Leafs, Tyler Innes, who they signed, and so on and so forth. Moving on, the Oilers um, have signed Josh Archibald, formerly of the Phoenix Coyotes, to a one-year deal worth $1 million. Um, now, he had a... Uh, an average a TOI of ice time um, of just over, I want to say, about 13.34 with the Coyotes last season. Um, what do we have him here? Edmonton Oilers. Uh, and the Oilers are now have just over, just under $3 million left in cap space. So we'll see what else they do. Uh, let's see if I can pull up, uh, for some reason I don't have Archibald's. Um, uh, action his stats pulled up in front of me why didn't I do that where are you Sir Archibald sounds like someone from the round table in medieval England Um, anyway so Archibald if you did not know um, is a right winger Uh, he's 26 years old he shoots right Uh, he's uh, from Saskatchewan uh, Canada he's 5'10 176 pounds and last season, um, with the Arizona Coyotes in 68 games, yeah, yeah, 12 goals, 22 points. He was plus one. Uh, in the season before that, he um, he was he played between the Coyotes and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, the Penguins. He started with them back in 2015-16. Uh, his biggest goal output was last season with the Coyotes. So obviously this is a depth signing for the Oilers. Worse, you, you know, I would assume he ends up somewhere on the third line. We'll see what happens there. Holland obviously hasn't been doing much this summer so far. We haven't really been hearing much out of him. Uh, you know they're constricted, of course, because of certain contracts. <coughs> and Lucic, excuse me. Wow, that was a loud one. Can't wait to get a new microphone, huh? I know. I can't wait either. Moving on, the Pittsburgh Penguins um, have signed Teddy Bruger, I just like saying that name, to a two-year deal uh, with an AAV of um, $750,000K per season. Um, Now, why I'm I'm not properly prepared? Why didn't I bring up Teddy Bruger? Um, That's hilarious. Why didn't I do that? Uh, yeah, okay, so let's, we're just going to bring up Cat Friendly here, and uh, we're going to look at the Pittsburgh Penguins, who have just under a million dollars left in cap space, um, they don't have much wiggle room there at all, and we'll look up Teddy Bluger, there he is, there's Teddy, um, he's 24 years old, uh, he's gonna, yeah, he shoots left, um, he's a left winger, 
Uh, he's originally from Latvia. He's six foot, 185 pounds. He was drafted originally by Pittsburgh um, in the second round, 52nd overall in 2012. Last season, uh, in 28 games, he had six goals and 10 points and was a plus seven. And in the playoffs, he played once and had no points. Ho hum. Yeah, I'm not going to talk any more about that. Teddy Bluger! I just wanted to get that out one more time because I like saying it. Okay, so the Minnesota Wild now. Um, let's talk about Ryan Donato, who they have re-signed. Now, I, don't, I don't believe it's quite official yet, but um, they signed him to a two-year deal uh, with an AAV worth $1.9 million. Now, with the Wild, after he was traded from Boston to there, he had a total um, average ice time of 15 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, Donato, um, last year, uh, he played all together. Wow. So he played um, 56 games between the Minnesota Wild and the Boston Bruins last season. Um, he had 10 goals and 25 points and was a minus 15. Uh, mind you, he had some better numbers with Minnesota, really. He was only a minus four there, uh, and he had 12 points in 22 games with the Wild. Um, he also played 18 games uh, with the Providence Bruins, but the Boston's uh, AHL affiliate, and in 18 games he had 12 points and was a minus one. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, hopefully his career will take off a little bit more, uh, maybe now that he's given some more ice time, a bit more chance um, with them. Uh, more news. And the last piece of the video here. Uh, the Los Angeles Kings have re-signed goalie Cal Peterson to a three-year deal worth a very, very friendly um, team cap hit of $858,333 AAV, average annual value. Now, Peterson, um, his... Last season was the only NHL um, uh, action that he saw. Now he's 24 years old. He catches right. Um, he's six foot, 185 pounds. He's from uh, Iowa, um, in the good old U.S. of A. Um, his numbers last season in 11 games, he had 2.60 goals against and a .924 save percentage. Pretty decent. So I believe the. Um, the first two years of this deal are is are, are two is a two way pact, um, but in the last year of the deal, um, oh wait no, it's a two way pact in the first year, but it becomes a one way deal in the final two seasons. Minya um, culpa there. Yeah, so he had some he had some pretty he had some decent numbers for LA last season. Now LA still got um, a couple goalies. Under contract, if you don't remember, um, and I'm speaking directly of uh, Jonathan Quick, who is signed for four more seasons at age 33 right now at 5.8 million dollars. Now his names has, have been in, has been in trade talk here and there, so we'll see what happens if anything during the uh, off season here if he gets moved because they also have Jack Campbell. Um, who signed for one more season. He's 27 years old for $675,000. And then he's going to be a UFA after that. And he had some very good numbers last season as well. Now, Campbell, who's 27, I mentioned that already. Uh, he's 6'2", 197 pounds, also from the US of A, from Michigan. Um, his numbers uh, last season... Uh, in 31 games, he had uh, 2.29 goals against and a .928 save percentage. Pretty good numbers. Now, he played the last couple of seasons with L.A. as well, but it was mostly just cups of coffee here and there, albeit with really good numbers every time he did play. Um, but he had spent most of his time in the uh, AHL with the Ontario Reign down there in California. So maybe look for L.A. to recoup some assets, possibly in a trade for Jonathan Quick, and have those two goalies going in um, to next season. Maybe. We'll see. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on everything that I just mentioned. L.A. King, LA fans, on your what you think about the goaltending, where that's going to go, um, how you think they're going to play those two guys. Maybe they'll platoon them. I'm speaking, I'm assuming, I guess, if they you know trade Jonathan Quick. 
Um, Wild fans, Minnesota, what do you think of Ryan Donato and that signing there? Because I don't know what the Minnesota Wild are doing right now in terms of the guys they've been. Zuccarello was to a four or five year deal. He's 31 years old. They just keep getting older and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's what's happening. Um, Pittsburgh. There's not much to talk about. Teddy Bluger. I just wanted to say his name again. Um, the Oilers. What, what, what's Holland doing? Because <laughs> he hasn't been doing much lately. Um, but I guess it's, it's going to be pretty hard to offload that Milan, Milan Lucic contract amongst others. Uh, there you have it. I'm going to sign off right now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if I don't see you... Uh, before I move, um, please uh, enjoy uh, the next few weeks of summer, and I'll be catching up with you soon thereafter. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you later.